Are you still a little confused? That's okay, I got you back. Let's go ahead and do these two problems before I send you off to do them on your own. So I have two groupings of angles here. One is complementary, one is supplementary. Hopefully you can take a guess. Think, think, think. Which is which? This one is in fact complementary. That means what? Yes, it is 90 degrees as a whole. So, I don't know what angle A is. I do know what the next angle is, 25 degrees. And I do know that the entire angle is 90. So I'm going to write what I know here. I would either write A plus 25 equals 90. Or you can write 90 minus 25 equals A. Okay, Those are inverse operations there. So each will come to the same answer. All right, go ahead and do my math. I'm going to choose to look at this subtraction problem here because that's what makes most sense to me. I'm going to go ahead and do the math. 90 subtract 25. And I get my answer, 65. So A equals 65. Okay, next one. This one is a little bit different because it is supplementary. That means that the entire angle equals 180 degrees. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and write my number sentence. Okay. I do know this angle. I don't know angle F. 112 degrees plus F, which we don't know, equals 180 degrees. Okay. Or we can write 180 degrees minus 112 degrees equals F, whichever makes most sense to you. We'll go ahead and do our math. 180 minus 112. 168 is our answer. So angle F equals 168. That is what you will be practicing in just a moment. Good luck. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know immediately, okay? I'll try and help you out. Good luck.